you'd expect a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return time. So here he is, the UFC featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And we have truly run out of superlatives when it comes to talking about this man and his mixed martial arts acumen. There are three guys who can lay claim to being the greatest featherweight of all time, and yet Alex is kind of distancing himself from yeah, that pack. It's crazy. It's crazy how good Alexander Volkanovsky is. I mean, you always knew he could fight. But to see some of the performances as of late, see how he continues to evolve and get better even as the champion is really impressive and it's a credit to him and all of his coaches but mostly his mindset i don't know if there's a guy in fighting that has a higher fight iq than alexander the great i just like to take note of what i'm experiencing every time this guy steps in the octagon because it's always something special and certainly since he signed with the ufc all the way back in 2016 he has been a promotional workhorse strength of schedule as good as it gets and of course as he enters competition tonight can lay claim to four combined wins over jose aldo and max holloway greatest Great. featherweight of all time our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight to get us started here is bruce buffett Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so Conor McGregor is back tonight with much fanfare. His appetite and his competitive spirit for mixed martial arts competition remains. And for Alexander Volkanovsky, you only get the shot once usually against the biggest name in the sport. We'll see what he can do with it. He has got to get it done tonight. You've got to take advantage of your opportunities. But Conor McGregor is more than a marquee matchup. He is a former double champion, a guy that elevated the sport to the next level. And he has a piston of a left hand. He's so fast, he's so smooth, and he's so confident in his ability that he thinks he can knock anyone out. He intends to knock Volkanovski out tonight. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang. Drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, 
He also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Beautiful punch lands there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds today. No feeling out process. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. <laughs> that uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, man, I'm surprised we didn't get a finish there as another massive uppercut connects. Those are landing at will for him here. Tonight. Landing at will and now. He started to put a little more force into those punches. Opponent needs to be very careful or his night is about to end. Midway through round one. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. To the body and it lands. Nice leg kick. Strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, look at that. Oh, misses with the jack. lands another combination his cardio is so good that is that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace when his opponent is done at two he is stringing together four five six more different strikes you don't do that without having a fantastic cardio he's hurt bad all right, late in the round here, DC, and Conor McGregor doing what he does best. Really, Volkanovski gets the double leg -like takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Volkanovski's in half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Big right hook there by the champ. It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Good, solid strike on the ground. Volkanovski's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Triangle choke getting very close to the finish. Now all he's got to do is get pressure on the head down towards his hip if he wants to get the finish. Submission defense wins this transition. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go. Round two. It is Ready Alexander fight. Volkanovsky. Ready. Against that man, you might recognize him. He is Conor McGregor. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they had their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment. 
but it is a testament to this fighter and the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. She just misses there with the left. McGregor going for the leg kick. Nothing doing that. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Nice double leg takedown attempt there. And got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? Get the ball here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Great ground and pound by this man. Stay busy here on the ground. Under three minutes now to go round two. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. A big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Volkanovski. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Break Good work from the top here by Volka. He's got to be careful here. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Big ground and bomb. He has done such a great job of targeting that cut that now... He has his opponent in a critical situation. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Massive shot from the top. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, round three coming up next. 
Uh, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. got a cut, but he's cut too. He knew this was going to be a bloody fight. I want you to be... Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Man, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on the street right now. You see his tweezer birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. In the half guard. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved with this. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? McGregor going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Making all these shots count. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. All right, good back and forth action, but they pause things here, DC. They're going to call in the ringside position and take a look at what is a nasty cut. Well, he's got to check on it because you don't know if the fighter's going to be able to continue. Fighters always want to fight, but it's up to the ringside position to tell them if they're capable of it. And the doctor doesn't, yeah, he doesn't care about the fans, doesn't care about your feelings at home. That will do it. That cut calls an end to things, and ultimately it'll go into the books as a TKO doctor stop. All right, that'll do it. We are going to show you some of the replays of what was a really exciting fight and accumulation of damage ended up bringing an end to this one, DC. It was a constant buildup of damage, John, over the course of the fight. At that point, all the targeting of the strike prompted the referee to say, hey, let me get the ringside position in here, take a look, to see if this guy can continue to fight. Clean up on aisle nine as we get ready for the next fight, but congratulations to the winner. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bogonowski. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ.